Hi guys, today is uh, April 24, 2020 and futures are trading higher as uh, lawmakers finally agreed on the uh, eight, four hundred eighty-five uh, billion dollar uh, package to help uh, American economy, especially small businesses and uh, hospitals. Uh, but on a separate note, durable goods came in uh, plunging fourteen point four percent versus eleven point nine percent expected. But still, uh, people are optimistic about opening the economy and uh, futures are trading higher. So let's jump to SPY, and uh, SPY is um, going higher, I guess, because uh, <laughs> this is. Uh, Nothing stopping SPY uh, and uh, looks like it's going to cross the 50 day moving average here, but I'm looking at the convergence of the MAGDA here, so I'm very careful again. But in general, uh, people are optimistic in buying S SPY. I am not, because I think that the, in May we're, we're going to have a lag down uh, after we reopen, but who knows. Uh, I have to stay with the market and uh, look for pockets of opportunities. Okay, so let's jump to corporate news, INTC. Uh, Intel reported a huge beat, actually, a revenue higher by um, over uh, 1 billion, and, uh, but at the same time they provided soft guidance. Uh, on the conference call uh, talked uh, that the pandemic can uh, influence the financial results so uh, stock is lower but i think it's pretty good buy on a pullback actually in the 53 54 area i'm i'm gonna start buying uh, intel because uh, the uh, they always provide the conservative guidance but they always beat huge and uh, i think intel can benefit in this environment in a stay home environment so i think uh, intel on a pullback is a big buy Okay, so let's stay with the technology theme. Uh, Limelight Networks. Uh, it's a smaller company and uh, it's a provider of content uh, delivery networks. Uh, they provided pretty good uh, Q1 but soft guidance and uh, they uh, fell pre-market a little bit. But I think it's not a bad uh, idea to to buy the stock. Um, that's uh, in the same space. Uh, my favorite is one is uh, not AMAT but Akamai. Akamai Technologies. Akamai is trading low hundreds, but I think it's still too high a little bit. Uh, I'd like it to come down to buy it, but uh, in general, Akamai is the leader in that space. But uh, Limelight is not bad, not a bad buy in my opinion. Okay, ET, uh, EHTH. Okay, eHealth. Um, eHealth. Um, I mean, they, they beat by uh, Q1 lower of uh, full year guidance uh, on EPS, but raises sales forecast. Uh, this company provides uh, uh, like uh, medical plans uh, related to Medicare and uh, different insurance carriers. And it's a pretty much a middle name, uh, middleman. And uh, there were a lot of talk uh, before about this company by short sellers uh, such as Citron Research. They were saying that the company is a fraud, but uh, I actually don't see anything bad here. I mean, there's just a middle name, a middleman be between uh, the uh, insurance carriers and, and customers. So uh, I think uh, it's a little trading to, a little bit too high to me, but in low hundreds, I think it's a pretty good buy in my opinion. WWE, uh, World Wrestling Federation. Uh, entertainment actually and they provided a huge beat uh, actually reported Q1 better Q1 and sales and uh, I actually like their CEO CEO is very uh, is known to be making big moves and uh, they just uh, announced the uh, XFL um, uh, bankruptcy and uh, they actually cut down a lot of uh, wrestlers but at the same time they're doing well because um, they're streaming a lot of their programs and uh, people are watching WWE because uh, there's nothing else to do at home so I think it's a pretty good buy on the pullback uh, in my opinion low 40s is a good buy for this stock E W Edwards Life Sciences. Edwards Life Sciences is a medical device company. It's uh, specializing in monitoring heart and blood flow. So they reported a top and bottom beat, and uh, but at the same time they cut uh, its uh, full year guidance uh, and uh, they cut their outlook by 500 million. Uh, so this stock is trading a little bit uh, higher, but uh, in general not a bad stock to be in um, if it pulls back a little bit. So. Under 220, uh, I think it was a good buy, but uh, 226 is a little steep for me, but uh, I would wait for it to come down a little bit. Okay, staying with the uh, medical theme, uh, in other pharmaceuticals, uh, yesterday had the interview with Jim Cramer, and uh, the, the CEO had the interview with Jim Cramer, and they said that the vaccine could be available in 12 months. It's possible to be available in 12 months. So stock is uh, trading higher after this interview and uh, pre-market. 
And um, I, it's a little bit steep for me uh, in general at 1240 uh, to buy it, but uh, I'm holding shares and I bought it like I told you before, I've been telling you about this company for the past like, I don't know, three months, uh, that it was a good buy in six, seven area. And uh, congratulations to those who did buy it uh, in that uh, at that price. Uh, but uh, to get in at uh, 1250, 1240 is a little steep for me, but I would still hold the shares uh, because I think that this company can still go higher. In the same space, Moderna is also too high for me. And uh, I actually told you about Moderna as well. And uh, $47 is a little bit too steep to buy uh, Moderna for me. And uh, I think uh, like um, in 30s, it was a great buy. But uh, in general, it's a very good company and they may actually go higher. I'm, I'm still holding shares as a matter of fact. Uh, but Veer Biotechnology, Veer is uh, is in a good area to uh, to buy. As actually closer to $30 is uh, my buy target for Veer. And I'm, I'm also holding shares for Veer. So I'm more interested in that because of the price. Okay, Guild. Okay, Guild uh, Science, uh, Gilead Sciences uh, had, uh, had influenced uh, markets yesterday because uh, Financial Times came out with the article that uh, China uh, Remdesivir trials flopped in Wuhan. So and uh, but uh, later on, uh, a lot of people came out and said that that's not true and uh, it wasn't administered co correctly. And um, uh, actually, guilt uh, paired the losses yesterday, and the whole market actually fell when uh, that article came out. So in general, I think uh, uh, guilt is a pretty good buy in the mid seventies and uh, selling high eighties. But um, that's a little bit too dangerous for me to get in right now uh, with a lot of uncertainty about the company. Okay, so S and Y, Sanofi. Sanofi is a better company to get in because uh, they reported a beat, they reported a beat on um, uh, Q1 and uh, reaffirmed full year guidance and outlook. And uh, that's a good company. They, they're working on uh, several vaccines for COVID-19 and uh, I think that they can go higher uh, in general. They have also a lot of collaboration uh, working with uh, other companies. Okay, so NSRGY. Uh, Nestle. Nestle benefited from uh, consumer stacking uh, shelves uh, as a drink company and uh, a beverage and drink company. And uh, but they're trading very high to me. I mean, it, yes, it's a, it's a pretty good place to be an SRGY, uh, but still, it's a little bit too high for me to get in right now. I'd like it to um, to come down uh, to establish a position. AXP. American Express. American Express reported uh, earnings beat, but uh, sales fell, uh, triple its provision for credit uh, card lo uh, credit card losses and credit losses to 2.6 billion. Uh, I don't know if I want to be in uh, AXP, American Express. And generally, it's a good company. It's a Buffett company, and uh, I uh, like AXP. But uh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to be in a AXP, uh, reporting these kind of numbers. And I really didn't like the numbers to tell the truth. So I would stay away for now. Okay. So Mezzo, Mezzoblast, Mezzoblast. Uh, uh, rising, uh, I don't know, like 150% this morning after uh, reporting that its high survival rate for COVID-19 from its COVID-19 treatment of uh, Ramas cell. So they said that 75% of the patients uh, treated with their uh, treatment came off the ventilators and uh, they're going to ramp up its uh, two uh, phase two and three trials. So that's um, a very good news, actually, because, uh, as you know, the uh, percentage of the people who survived on the ventilators were very low, like 20 percent. And uh, they're saying that 75 percent of their patients uh, are coming off the ventilators. That's really good news for Meso. I'd like uh, I'd like to get in on this company, it's all the shoes, and, uh, but I don't want to get in uh, when it's up like 150 percent so i would fade the open i think it will come down after the open and then uh, maybe try to establish a position but don't go too heavy because uh, this uh, this thing is dangerous okay verizon verizon beat by three cents revenue came in below forecast and uh, they will say they will emerge stronger from uh, this uh, after this crisis. But I mean, Verizon is Verizon, so they pay pretty good dividend. It's a safe uh, company, safe stock to be in, and uh, I think it's a long-term buy, in my opinion. Okay, so, so 
SL, uh, CLR, okay, Continental Resources, and um, they cut uh, uh, its oil production in half in North Dakota. It's actually halted uh, its oil production in North Dakota. And it's, uh, they say that they will not supply crude oil to uh, its customers at current prices. And the stock is higher a little bit because the oil is higher, but in general, I don't want to be in any oil company. At this point, because uh, they're very, um, they're very dangerous uh, right now. Because oil, uh, I don't know what's going on with oil. It's uh, there is no nowhere to store oil, and uh, that's going to be very dangerous. Even though this company is trading higher, okay. PSO, that's an interesting company, uh, Pearson, and uh, it's an educational products company. Reported a drop of five percent in first quarter revenue, but uh, because it was hit by school closures. But um, they're saying they're they're seeing significant increase in use of of its uh, digital products. So uh, that's not a bad report from PSO, and I think that would be an interesting uh, company to to get in right now. I mean, it's not an, it's not very expensive, and uh, I think uh, like low five dollars could be an interesting buy in my opinion. Uh, Tesla. Tesla said that uh, they raised prices for its Model 3 after China cuts uh, electric vehicle subsidies. And uh, in general, Tesla is a pretty good buy. I'd like it to buy in uh, mid 600s, but uh, even uh, high 600s is a pretty good buy for Tesla, in my opinion. I love Tesla, and uh, I think it's a much better buy than GM, Ford, uh, and other companies in that space because Tesla's demand for their vehicles is very, very high. Okay, so BA planning to cut uh, Dreamliner 787 uh, production in half and announce job cuts when it reports uh, earnings. I am very pessimistic about this company, so and I'm holding shares. I don't know, maybe I will dump shares before the earnings because I'm very worried about this company. And the uh, UAL said that uh, they're requiring uh, their um, uh, flight attendants to wear masks and the union is asking uh, that uh, the customers, the passengers will m wear masks as well. In general, I like a DL and uh, I like LUV. Okay, that's it guys. That's a wrap for the day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the like button. I'll see you to Monday actually.